A voiceover announcer, that's the name given to the person who owns the voice that you hear on television and radio commercials. Now these announcers can also pick up work on television shows. Now take Max Rowley for instance. The name mightn't ring a bell, but I'm sure you'll recognise the voice. And one place you may have heard it is introducing the personalities on the TV show Perfect Match. Edith Bliss was thrilled to meet the man behind that voice. Welcome the star of our show, Craig Evans! You all know the famous faces that you see on television, but today we're going to show you another way to become famous without ever showing your face. Be a voiceover announcer. Max, how hard is it to break into the field of voiceover work? Well, it, it really is pretty difficult because you have to go through the, the process of becoming a radio announcer generally or an actor and from being an actor then you reach as far in that field as you can go and then usually, if you're lucky, someone says, well, could you do a commercial for us? So does a man with a famous voice earn as much as a man with a famous face? Probably more, but there are only a handful in actual fact who are used that regularly. Probably maybe more than a handful, about ten. And are any of those voices attached to a female body? Uh, yes, they are. They're usually attached to, uh, to famous actresses' bodies, like Judy Davis and people of that nature. Bali, long-time favourite of the young holiday maker. Here at the Sunset Club, amidst beautiful landscape gardens, you can relax and take advantage of the all-inclusive facilities. For the more adventurous, get out and about to explore all this exotic, unspoiled island has to offer. Bali, the most idyllic island of the world. But there's another avenue for work besides working on television. I mean, how many times have you heard commercials on radio and television? That's a voiceover announcer. Max, is there a different voice that you'd use for different types of commercials? Yes, in, in a soft cell you'd use a much more um, convincing, motivating, warm, um, uh, I don't know quite uh, whether sincere. I should... Sincere. Sincere, the involving <laughs> voice. Ladies, on that special night, with the one and only man in your life, splash on the delightful fragrance of Nerdly's aromatic eau de toilette. Let me tell you, soft cells are very pretty, but sometimes don't sell very much. But the hard cells, where you cram so many words into the, into the shortest possible period of time, mostly 30 seconds, are the ones that seem to really sell. And you'll receive absolutely free, without charge, a double album set of the Helmet Sigmund Accordion Trio performing Romanian marching tunes of the 6th century. Ring now and take advantage of this fabulous offer. And you were saying before that you actually earn more money for using an accent. Indeed you do. I think there's quite a heavy loading on top of a commercial. If a commercial were, say, it's not, but say $100, then another $40 on top of that would for ensure using that you an get accent. just for using an accent, yes? Yes, we got the Navana, we got the zucchini, we got the fish and chip, we got the German, not we got ways of making you have this all out. And now, tin lids, so all the Chinese food, uh, one them see marching and chow mein and some uh, light tea in sweet and sour sauce. Uh, very lovely, very lovely, goodbye. Is it hard for you to actually get yourself in the frame of mind for the emotion that you need? It was very much so when I was earlier in my career, but I think after a while, like everything else, like every job, you work a technique whereby you can switch into the mood and the feeling. Right. Ladies, on that natural spite with the you, the, on that natural spite with your nan and oh, we get it right again, right? This is take eleven. Ladies, on that special night with your one and only man in your life. <laughs> take twelve. So, well, there you go. It doesn't matter how much of a mumble mouth you are because that's the key to being a great voiceover announcer. You'll always sound slick and polished, like Max. Max Rowley speaking. Max Rowley speaking. It's a great job, actually, a voiceover announcer. How many uh, people take part in your school concert?